In a video that I made before this one, I solved for the acceleration of the boxes. So the acceleration of the two boxes ended up being 1.8 meters per second squared In this video, I'm going to solve for the tension in the rope between the two boxes. So this is the situation that we have. There's a larger box, and connected to it is a smaller box. So the larger box weighs 24 kilograms, and the smaller box weighs 15 kilograms. Um, and there is a force that is applied on the larger box, to the right of the larger box. Okay, and the force is applied at an angle of 25 degrees above the horizontal, um, and the applied force is 180 newtons. Now what we also know is that there's a force of friction that is applied on both boxes. And the, and the coefficient of friction between the, the ground and the boxes um, is 0 0.32. So in order to solve for the tension in the rope that connects the two boxes, I'm going to focus on box B. So I'm going to start by drawing a free body diagram for, for box B. So, there's a force of tension that is pulling on the box, and there's a force of friction that is opposing the force of tension. Now, there's also a force of gravity on the box, since it is on the ground. And there's an opposing normal force that is on the box. So the floor is applying um, a force back on the box. Um, and what we also know is that since the tension force and the force of friction are perpendicular to the normal force and the force of gravity, in that case, the only two forces in the vertical are the normal force and the force of gravity, and since the, the box is not accelerating up or down, uh, we have to assume that the normal force, in this case, is going to have to equal the force of gravity. And so the normal force is going to equal to, is going to equal the mass of box B in this case times the acceleration due to gravity so that would be 14 times 9.81 which is equal to 137.34 newtons now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an FNAT statement for the horizontal motion of the box. So F net X, so along the horizontal, is equal to FT minus the force of friction, FF. So those are the only two forces in the horizontal. I'm going to change F net to mass times accel acceleration. So mass of box B times acceleration is equal to FT minus, and I'm, I'm going to change the force of friction to mu times Fn. And that was covered in the previous video that the force of friction is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal force. 
Now I'm going to substitute in the given values. So the mass of box B is 14. So 14 times the acceleration from part A, 1.8, is equal to Ft minus mu, which is 0 0.32, times the normal force, which is 100 and 37.34 FT ends up equaling approximately 69 newtons and so therefore the tension in the cable or in, the, in this case in the rope between the two boxes would be 69 newtons. If you found this video helpful and you enjoyed watching it, please give it a like. And also check out the first part of the video if you haven't. Um, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.